so here you make enough for your bum. Take Okay. And okay. 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 this part you can cut out and bring it like a half meter deeper. Yagov! And then you can sit here and your legs will go into this hole. And then you can have a little Japanese table enjoying a conversation with a friend. It's a really, really. You build a buttress, and buttress is actually doubling up, doubling up as, um, as a couch. <laughs> So this is how we stack functions in a dome. So you'd think, yeah, but, you know, so that means you don't have to have mm, now a couch in this dome because the buttress acts as a couch. So what I see here is one could build up a little counter here out of plywood. You can have little shelves coming out like little teardrops with uh, fisher plugs, those plastic plugs with corners and then you can have nice surface areas to store candles, to store your Buddha crystals I see a beautiful counter here going out like this and going with the curve of the dome and that can become a whole kitchenette you could have kitchen here, wash, wash stuff um, a little cupboard underneath then I'd bring these poles down these poles down and then you can have storage for your plates and whatever else you need so this could be a, this could be a really nice kitchenette yeah, um, a little rocket stove couch if you need a bit of heat you could bring out a little rocket stove couch that tucks in with maybe a little fireplace here and you can sit and enjoy a warm warm bed yeah, so there's lots of possibilities in the dome and you don't have to buy furniture, you, you sculpt it yourself and then you buy high density foam you buy some material that you know you can tuck under the ply and you staple gun and then basically you have this nice rounded you have this nice rounded surface for the to sit on all custom made let's go to the sandbag dome now what I see if you want to go step back right back in the tunnel or, yeah? yeah, yeah, let's get a high angle, let's get a high angle first. So what I see here is a bed that is a net, like a dream catcher. They sell them in America, really tight, tight, tight. It's a round ring that you could winch up and it can go up and act as a second floor for the children. And then you've got the space to utilize, to move around, to do yoga. To, 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 to meditate and your bed is you hoist it up it's a possibility it's a possibility <laughs> yeah and as I said here if you bring this up straight this can act as a lovely seat to enjoy a river so all features of the dome become very useful for comfort, aesthetics and just joy of living, you know. So you could bring, if you bring this up, then you could lie down without sliding down and enjoy a beautiful view. Yeah, great. Let's go to the window. And of course, this also becomes like a sit, a lovely sitting area. Very com very comfortable with a cushion. You can play a guitar, like Steve Arin did. It's endless. The, the home becomes the furniture and the furniture becomes your home. And that's I think of the future. So if we can have furniture that can heat us, can heat up with a rocket stove, then you know, coming home and enjoying a warm bed with this much firewood. I don't think you can get it better than that. So for cold climates, 
Even so this is more sunshine. insulation because it's very porous, this brick. Yes. So for cold climates, I would recommend putting bricks like this to thicken up the size of the wall. Because it can store heat. Um, possibly even build two layers of foam. One from the mass, which is adobe bricks. Then I'd have a little gap. And, and Earthships did it out of coke cans. Double layer. They have done it. So it's not like... So Earthships have a really thick wall of tires. So I would recommend going with maybe a foot by foot by foot bricks of uh, adobe, like nice thick bricks. You build up, and then I'd go on the outside with the acrete, and then you have a perfect formula mass which keeps the warmth. So once you cook the fireplace, the walls will store it, or the big window facing the sun will get and warm up the walls. Especially if there's a little geodesic, I'll show you now. And then the acrete doesn't allow for the heat to go out. Boom, it's locked. So here... That on the video? Yep. Bloops and blunders. So this is a little feature how we're going to turn the dome into an airship. We have a glass here with a with a, maybe a swivel oval door that you can walk out. And right here, a geodesic more than a quarter. Like like that. Pops out and creates a bubble. So you'd create a nice footing for it. Okay? A geodesic and then your grey water wetland is happening here. And then the sun comes in. I wouldn't do it in this climate. <laughs> but the sun comes in unless unless you have like a shade over it for summer. So the sun comes in, it's minus 20 Celsius outside. As soon as you step into a geodesic, it's minus five, maybe zero. As soon as you step inside, it's plus 15, plus 20 without a fireplace. That's how an earthship works. So you'd have a glass here, and you'd have a greenhouse here where you can grow your microgreens in the dome. Just to start yourself off. And of course, you've got a lovely sitting area and you can come outside and put maybe a few a few little, man, something, like a, a tr trunk of a tree that you can sit and, and a little coffee table and you've got the wetland plants just creeping up and the, and the grapes, grapes coming up, up your dome. So you can create shade. So therefore you can grow plants, therefore you can grow plants that you usually, usually wouldn't be able to grow in a cold climate by utilizing this. Also in a cold climate, I'd probably put insulation underneath, not to get the coldness from the earth. But um, I believe the earth does also provide some warmth. If you dig deep enough, it provides some geothermal heat. Yeah? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So then maybe insulation. Degrees, so they don't put insulation under the floor, do they? Oh, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah. To allow the ge geothermal heat to actually okay. warm us up. So uh, if you're digging in deep, then perhaps run a fan to bring the warm air up from there. Yeah, there's some other feature they do. It's called bio vegetarium, which is a set of pipes that run underneath here, which allow the heat to from the house or from the stove to radiate through the underneath the floor. Fat pipes, steel pipes. And then they warm up the earth underneath you, and then they circulate with one little fan, and then the earth stays warm. So yeah, that's it.